what is SIBO? SIBO stands for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth. I'm Dr. Stephen Smith. I'm an integrative medicine physician. And I deal with SIBO all of the time because if there's a chronic illness, there's usually SIBO involved or a biofilm somewhere containing these bacteria. So it's typically a layered uh, group of bacteria with a mucus coating. They'll have channels in it. It's often reinforced by minerals to make it very strong and very stable. These uh, biofilms have a process called quorum sensing, which means they can communicate by um, a certain level of a chemical will come up and they'll all switch on. I've experienced this myself. If I eat, if I have a biofilm going, and as an older person, uh, we are more susceptible to biofilms, and if you, you know, eat some sugar and, and, you know, go out and have a party or whatever with your friends and you overindulge, you'll feed these bacteria and you're going to get a biofilm. How do you know? How, one of the symptoms you get is you can eat something uh, that would uh, feed the biofilm, something, maybe some carbohydrates. And about 15 minutes later, all of a sudden you have this horrible fatigue, your brain fog. Was this your blood sugar going up? No. It was quorum sensing. You were experiencing these bacteria in the biofilm turning on and they're releasing a chemical which acts as a toxin to you. So that's one of the other benefits of a biofilm to the bacteria. They can digest each other's food. If, you, if one bacteria can't do it, another one can break it down. They can communicate. They have protection. Uh, these biofilms are just great communities of your bacteria. If you get one in the hospital and you get an infection, you're in trouble because normal antibiotics are not going to penetrate this biofilm. So that's what biofilms are. That's what SIBO is. And I hope that's helpful.